What is going on everybody, Yvonne here. Now, are you guys trying to decide between ReadyMag and Framer for you guys' next website project? If so, you guys are in the right place. Both of these tools are very powerful in their own ways. However, they do serve different needs. Whether you guys are a designer focused on visuals or you care a lot about interactive functionality, we're gonna go ahead and go through the two platforms and see which one is gonna be a right fit for you. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's first dive into ReadyMag and without a doubt, this platform is built for creatives. Most of the time, folks that use ReadyMag are gonna be designers, artists, or other creatives who want to showcase their work online. It's a really easy platform to use with visuals coming at the forefront and it requires absolutely no code. Now, if you guys have ever used platforms like Figma or Adobe, it's very similar to it. Start off at a blank slate and from here, you guys can go ahead and add different variables. To do so, all you got to do is press the plus button right over here and there's going to be a ton of different widgets ranging from text to shapes to pictures to videos, sh shots, different stuff like that. Again, the point of this platform is to be super easy to use. And in addition to that, ReadyMac highly prioritizes personalization, especially from the the visual point of view. This is one of the templates that's available. And as you guys can see, there's going to be clear cut sectors that are available here. I don't know about you, but I've been using Figma for years and it looks a lot similar. For example, if I want to go ahead and drag this picture, all I got to do is just drag it and boom, it's going to be wherever I put it. Again, same thing can be said around any text, different shapes, sizes, right? You can go ahead and modify it and it's really simple to use. The whole goal of this platform is to allow designers to do their own thing without worrying about anything coding related. But if you guys do want to add different things on top of your guys' website, you can also integrate them onto the ReadyMax platform. Just by Googling ReadyMax integrations, there's going to be a ton of them available. Ranging from Stripe, Shopify, and Gumroad for e-commerce to Google Analytics for you guys' reporting efforts, there's going to be a ton of integrations out there for you guys to maximize your guys' website. The way that I see it is that ReadyMax doesn't want to be the best in every single category. However, it just wants to be the best in the design point of view and let other applications do their own thing. However, at times that could be a limitation as well because some of those dynamic or interactive features are just not there. For example, if you guys care a lot about different CMS structures that won't be in the platform, you can go ahead and dig around different integrations to see if it's going to be in there, depending on what you guys care about. And in terms of the pricing, there are going to be four different options, ranging from personal, freelancer, advanced, or extra. But most of you guys watching this video, I would just go ahead and stick with a personal plan. It's going to have majority of the features like allowing you guys to host unlimited pages, up to 10,000 views a month, one published website with a custom domain, and different things regarding website. However, as you guys scale and you want to add more websites to your guys' fleet, that's when it would make sense to go into the freelancer, advanced, or the extra options right over here. And if you guys want to try out the platform completely for free, there's going to be a link below down in the description. All you got to do is just press join here, tap in your guys' name, your guys' email address and password, tell the platform a little bit about who you guys are, accept their terms and conditions, and boom, you guys are going to be ready to rock. But now let's go ahead and dive into the other platform framer and see what it has to offer. Now I'd say right off the bat, if you guys want this content on your website to be dynamic or not just static, this is going to be a better platform for you. In terms of the design, ReadyMac for sure takes the cake, but if you want your guys' website to be a little bit more functioning, Framer is going to be a better option for you. A lot of folks that use the platform are going to be startup and small and medium teams who care about other things rather than the website just looking good. It allows you guys to do things like custom animations or even pull live data from different sources. So if you guys have a technical background, this is going to be your best friend because you can customize it further through custom code. However, not to worry because this is going to be a no code tool. As you guys see on my screen, there's going to be the basic things that we care about. There's going to be the pages, section, navigation, menus, right? All the different things that can help with the layout of our website. And in addition to that, we can also go ahead and store different things when it comes to CMS on our website, like blocks, for example, and it just makes it much easier because it lives on the platform. And all the different elements that the platform has, as well as media, forums, icons, or different interactive things can be added through just drag and drop. All you got to do is just go ahead and select it, drag it onto your guys' website, and boom, it's going to be on there. So as you guys see, the platform is going to be a lot more robust from the actual usage perspective. It has a lot of different options, and things are just built into the platform, like the CMS structures, which makes it much easier to host everything in one place. And if you guys want to mess around with different templates, styles, or even add your guys' code, you can also do that right over here. Again, everything is super customizable. All you got to do is just modify things here on the right-hand side, and you guys don't need to know any type of code. However, if you guys do, it can just help you customize further and help you guys scale to a larger extent. And the other big thing that I'd like to know is similar to Figma, you can actually share this website with your guys' team, and that way you guys can work on it all at the same time. This is going to be amazing for startups that want to break things and move quick. So if you guys have a small team, this is going to be a really good option for you. And if you guys want to enter integrate your guys' website with another platform, all you got to do is just go to plugins here and select the thing that you guys want. And as you guys see, it's not going to be only like website relevant plugins. There's going to be things outside of the website realm, like Airtable, Notion, Google Sheets, which makes it nice because that way all the systems can speak to one another. The only drawback I'd say is that it takes a little bit longer to learn, but once you guys master all the features, it's going to be really awesome to use. And in terms of the pricing, there's going to be two different options for you guys. There's going to be the personal accounts and the business accounts. On the personal side of things, there's going to be three different options. There's going to be the mini, 
basic and the pro and on the business side of things there's going to be the startup scale up and the enterprise level again for most of you guys watching this video on the personal side of things i'd recommend just playing around with the mini or the basic just because they allow you guys to host a website but it's not gonna be too crazy where it's gonna be a huge size and that way it's gonna be pretty cheap and if you guys want to host more than two pages just go with the basic but not a lot of folks go over that 1000 page limit i'd say the biggest reason for going pro are going to be cms collections just because as you guys start storing anything on your guys website that data and bandwidth are just going to build up and that way i know it's hard to believe you can actually run out of that 50 gigabyte bandwidth pretty quick and that's why folks actually go the pro version here and same thing can be applied for business plans if you guys have a small business the startup plan makes the most amount of sense but as you guys scale you can go on to the scale up or the enterprise plan accordingly and if you guys want to go further in depth on the different features that they offer i would just scroll down as it goes feature by feature of what's going to be different across the plans and if you guys want to try out the platform all you got to do is just press start for free let's go ahead and continue with email tap in the email that you guys want to use let's go ahead and check our inbox and boom you guys are going to be ready to roll and there you folks have it those are the biggest differences between the ready mag and the framework platforms if you guys are a creative type and you just want your website to be a portfolio and just to look good i would go with ready mac any day however if you guys are building a business and you want something a little bit more dynamic fast and responsive that's when framework makes sense i'd say the platforms are both really solid it just depends on what you guys are using it for so if you guys do want to try out the platforms completely for free the links for them are going to be below down in the description and remember folks if you guys did get some value out of this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this as it tremendously helps support the channel till next time peace